10 wild animals in Qatar. Qatar is a small Asian African country located in the western part of the continent, on the northeastern coast of the Arabian Peninsula. It is one of the smallest countries in all Asia, is officially an Islamic country, is known for its oil and gas reserves, which are the world's third largest, and used to be a British colony. An interesting part of the country that, I wanted to tackle is its wildlife. In light of that, I have listed the best of it, and I hope you will love learning what animals live in Qatar. On place 10, Socotra Cormorant. The Socotra Cormorant, also known as the Socotra Shag, or the Socotran Cormorant, is a large species of cormorant endemic to the southeastern parts of the Arabian Peninsula and the Persian Gulf. In Qatar, it can be found in the only protected nesting colony in the Persian Gulf, off the coast of the country, in a group of about 30,000 peers. This cormorant is seriously endangered because of marine pollution, coastal development, and human disturbance. On place 9, Desert Horned Viper. Although pretty rare in Qatar, the Desert Horned Viper, also known as the Saharan Horned Viper, has already been recorded in the country. It is native to northern Africa, but also parts of the Levant and the Arabian Peninsula. This viper inhabits dry, sandy areas, at elevations of up to 1,500 meters above sea level. Usually, it tends to stay in areas with a temperature below 20 degrees Celsius. On place 8, North African Ostrich. The North African Ostrich, also known as the Barbary Ostrich or the Red-necked Ostrich, is a subspecies of the common ostrich native to North and West Africa. Since it is the largest of the subspecies, it is the largest bird on the planet. While the local ostrich in Qatar used to be the Arabian ostrich, it went extinct in 1945 year. Later during the 20th century, the North African ostrich was introduced to the country, and now only lives in Ras Brook. On place 7, Golden Jackal. The golden jackal is a species of wolf-like canid native to Eastern Europe, the Middle East, the Arabian Peninsula, and the Indian subcontinent. Its range has been growing increasingly over the past decades, primarily because of the decline of its main competitor, the grey wolf. This jackal is omnivorous and can tolerate dry conditions. It lives in the valleys of Qatar, usually near bodies of water, and can withstand temperatures as low as minus 35 degrees Celsius. On place 6, Honey Badger. The Honey Badger, also known as the Radal, is a species of must lid with a very wide distribution, from Sub-Saharan Africa to Western Asia, the Indian subcontinent, and the Arabian Peninsula. Despite its name, it is not related to other badger species but looks much more like a weasel. This mammal is carnivorous and is surprisingly strong and ferocious for its size, which is why it has very few natural predators. On place 5, Camel. Qatar has the highest density of camels in all of the Middle East. In fact, camels are a group, and the animal you will see in Qatar is the dromedary, or one-humped camel, which makes up for 94% of the world's camel population, the rest being mainly made of Bactrian camels, with two humps. The camel has long been used as a means of transportation in the desert, and is still used in remote areas or for tourism. 
It has been widely domesticated and is one of the most iconic Arabian and North African animals. On place 4, Sand Cat. The Sand Cat, also known as the Sand Dune Cat, is a small species of wild cat native to the deserts and stony areas of Africa, the Middle East, Western Asia, and the Arabian Peninsula. It is known by the Tuareg people for its ability to kill venomous snakes. The reason for its ears to be so short and set low, on the side of the head, is for the sand cat to detect potential prey underground, when it comes to feeding, it largely preys on small rodents, but also lizards, fish, and snakes. On place 3, Dugong. The dugong is Qatar's largest mammal. It is a marine animal that can be spotted north of the country's shores, and Qatar has one of the largest concentrations of dugongs in the world. This large mammal is closely related to manatees. It lives near the shore of about 40 countries in the Indian and Pacific Oceans, and has been hunted for thousands of years for both its oil and meat. On place 2, Arabian Gazelle. The Arabian Gazelle lives in protected reserves, and it is illegal to hunt it in Qatar. It is also native to the Arabian Peninsula, and is listed as vulnerable to extinction because of a lot of reasons. First of all, the Arabian Gazelle suffers from environmental factors such as climate change, predation, and hunting, and competition. Then, there are also disturbances such as urban expansion, and other factors like severe droughts and habitat fragmentation and loss. On place 1, Arabian Oryx. The Arabian Oryx, also known as the White Oryx, is a medium-sized species of antelope native to the Arabian Peninsula. After going extinct in the wild at the beginning of the 1970s year, it has been reintroduced since 1980 year, and there are now up to 7,000 individuals. This oryx is the national animal of Qatar, as well as that of several neighboring countries. In Qatar, it lives in very large, enclosed areas.